danger to you and your family, which is why the Choctaw Nation and the EPA teamed up today to teach folks what to look out for. News 12's Kayla Holt tells us more about how to stay safe. People believe that lead isn't a problem anymore, and unfortunately that's not true. The Choctaw Community Center filled with people learning more about lead and the danger it poses every day. There are many um, hazardous waste sites and other kind of sources of of lead and exposure to lead in the community that people don't necessarily think about. Lead is non-biodegradable, meaning once it's introduced into the environment, it's here to stay. You can find lead in paint, hunting ammunition, and even some fishing tackle. And it stays in the air and soil and water. Um, and there are so many different sources, um, either from industrial sources or from lead pipes lead paint. Knowing who is most at risk to lead poisoning is key. The smallest amount of lead can cause major problems in the development of children. Our biggest concern is with young children under the age of six and that's because um, their brains and nervous systems are still developing. But knowledge is power and there are ways to reduce your exposure to lead altogether. So mopping and using wet cloths instead of dry cloths for dusting um, and also eating a healthy diet that's rich in calcium, iron, and vitamin C because those nutrients actually help um, minimize the absorption of lead into our system. If you have small children and you live in a home that was built before 1978, experts suggest getting your home, especially the paint, tested. Caution now can spare families a lifetime of health problems later. In Durant, Kayla Holt, News 12.